good. Uh, we're actually okay. yeah. we'd, we'd love his vote, but uh, we're at quorum now. Okay, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Councilmember Daniel Drum, and I'm chair of the committee. Today we've been joined by Councilmember Francisco Moya, Councilmember Barry Grudenchik, Councilmember Adrian Adams, Councilmember Jimmy Van Bramer, Councilmember Andy Cohen, Councilmember Steve Matteo, and we are expecting others shortly. Uh, today the committee will be voting on two items, a transparency resolution and one Article 11 property tax exemption. First, we have the transparency resolution which sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council, or another entity are identified in the attached chart with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, Council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any group on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the, subcon before the subcontractor can be approved. Benjamin Smith from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding disclosures. Next, we have one land use item. Prospect Park Southwest is in Council Member Eugene's district in Brooklyn, which, which would provide a partial 30-year Article 11 property tax exemption to support the preservation of 384 units of affordable rental housing. Council Member Eugene is supportive of the project. Those are all of today's items. Are there any questions? Okay, before we call the roll, I'd like to remind my Finance Committee colleagues that the next Finance Committee hearing will be joint with the, with the Transportation Committee on April 29th at 1 p.m. in the Chambers. The hearing will be an oversight hearing on the Department of Finance's Parking Violations Bureau, and a number of bills will be heard as well. Wishing everyone who celebrates a happy Easter and a happy Passover this weekend, I will now ask Billy Martin, Committee Clerk, to call the roll. Chair Drum. Aye. Cohen. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Moya. Aye. Matteo. Aye. My vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. And we'll hold the vote open for another 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> 